Jason, welcome back to Dunfermline. Um, just give us uh, your thoughts about your first week back in charge. Loved every minute of it. Um, obviously, I was out of full time for a, a wee while there. But no, it's great being back in the dressing room, back amongst the boys, and yep, loved it. Is this something that's been going on for a little while now, or is it something that came out of the blue? No, it was quite out of the blue. I think once um, Callum left and they decided that was what was happening, Stevie had a think and delighted that I was the first person he thought of. Um, so I had a couple of things to sort out from my own side, obviously. I was in full time employment, but um, my own work were, were great with me as well, so it was a big, big decision for me. But um, definitely think it's the right decision and one I would have regretted if I hadn't taken the chance. So, yeah, delighted to be back. Was that a no-brainer because it was the fact that it was a good mate, Stevie Crawford, and a former club in Dunfermline, or was it just a chance of going back into full-time football? No, it was the actual club and Stevie. Um, if it had been anybody else, um, I don't think it's something I would have risked at this stage. Because it was definitely a risk. Um, obviously, still got bills to pay and family to support. So, um, if it wasn't Dunfermline, if it wasn't Stevie, it's was probably something I would have had a longer think about and probably wouldn't have took. But um, spoke about it with the missus, obviously, and it was something I, I had to go for. For a lot of people who maybe haven't been able to keep up to date with what you've been doing recently, um, manager at Dundonald Bluebell, so it's not like you've been out of football completely. No, that's it. I think it's maybe eight years since, maybe just over eight years since last full-time uh, football, uh, and I've been involved non-stop since then, so I had assistant manager roles, coaching roles, and yep, the last couple of years at Dundonald who are progressing as well. It's, it's great to see they just got their licence and that for the SFA and they're in East of Scotland now, so it's good to see them coming up. And, and they were fine about everything as well, so, yeah, it's all good. I was saying to Stevie last week, is it almost a good thing that you're coming in here, maybe not as up to date with maybe the players that have been here or the players that are coming in. You've maybe got some fresh eyes to look over everything and just give a, a different perspective. Yeah, it's been discussed as well. I mean, obviously, Stevie and Greg were here last year and they're talking about how things are slightly different or a big bit different in some cases uh, what was happening last year but it's all fresh to me and it's been great since I've been in attitude of the boys that's come in have been great so it, it, it's handy that I knew Greg and, and Stevie obviously and knew the club, knew Mo and behind the scenes and everybody like that so it, it's helped me settle in pretty quickly what have you made of the squad so far? I mean, it's great that it's um, almost assembled right at the start of pre-season and that allows you guys to, to really go on and kick forward with the ideas you want to implement. Well, from my own point of view, it's great when they're that, that age, they're just to try to take everything on board. Anything that we're putting to them, they try to put across on the training park. So it's now just tempering the enthusiasm of what's happening on the training park and getting it onto match days. Obviously the first game against Forth. We've got a bounce game arranged amongst ourselves first and then we've got a game friendly against Forth before the actual cup game starts. So it'll just be translating what's been happening on the training park onto the actual games now. So. And again, because you know Stevie, because you know Greg, you probably have very similar views in terms of philosophy. Again, that has to be ideal when you're coming into an environment like this that everybody's pulling in the same direction. Yes, um, we've discussed training sessions in advance, obviously. Um, the gaffer's involved in that, but um, in the last couple of days me and Greg have taken charge of a couple of sessions because we know exactly what, what each other's wanting and it's and you're right, we are singing for the same same page at, at the minute, so it's, it's all good. What's the ambition for yourself and for the club? How do you see it progressing over the next year, two years? For the club, all we can see is hopefully that there is a progression, whether it's a higher league position, whether it's achieving promotion to the Premier League, whether it's getting young players into the team and getting them sold on. For myself, all I want to see is young players progressing. Personally, if you're on the training park and you're seeing their progression from young players, you're improving them as players, then it can only benefit them family, in my opinion. So that's all we try to do day in, day out. What's the, what can I do to get improvement out of each and every individual? And how do you see the championship this year? It's always been a very competitive week, very tough um, fixtures released today. It shows how difficult it is when you just look at the first three fixtures. So um, a, a lot of um, hard games coming up. I think every game will be tough. Um, it's a competitive league. Obviously, as you said, we've got a, a quick glance at the fixtures early before training this morning. So we'll get a, a further look into them this afternoon. But yeah, um, two Dundee teams 
in the in the first three games, they're always going to be difficult. Um, but there's expectations here. There'll be expectations for the fans, and we've just got to marry that and make sure that we're putting on a team on the park ready to do Dunfermline justice. Speaking about the fans, just to conclude, them, um, you would have been given a warm welcome back by them. Um, just a case of everybody, as we've said, pulling in the same direction. You'll just be delighted that everything's progressing the way it is. That's it. I mean, obviously, I had great times here as a player, um, but it's different. Me, Stephen, and Greg are all here as coaches now, so we're going to be judged on what we put out on the park in terms of our team and how they play. So that's all we're looking to do.